so many people are walking around with leaky gut. It's one of the most common issues we see. Yeah. Uh, whether it be from pro- eating too many processed foods or or alcohol consumption, alcohol will like dramatically in- increase leaky gut, or just having dysbiosis, which is imbalance of bacteria in your gut. All these things can cause this problem, and then you end up with low testosterone. And uh, a lot of people are just going right to testosterone, which is not. I'm a huge proponent right. of testosterone for the right person, but. I think we also need to understand what problems are causing us to have these issues in the first place. Right. Right. Yeah. And that's just one of them. I mean, leaky gut is a very common issue with people. That's really interesting. I had never heard that before. Yeah. So people that are on testosterone replacement therapy, if they're not addressing the actual reason for it, are just kind of replace. They're, <laughs> yeah. they're just keeping up, right? If they come off of that therapy, then it's just going to continue to happen. Yeah. Right. And and the other thing is like it's almost masking a problem because. Um, the, the testosterone replacement is still going to give them better energy. They're going to retain more muscle and be able to gain muscle okay. and, and, and uh, have better cognitive function. Like there's definitely not, nothing wrong with that. Sure. Um, but the problem is if you continue to have leaky gut, you'll have other issues as well because lipopolysaccharides uh, in being chronically inflamed, it does more than just suppress your testosterone. It's, it, it, chronic inflammation is, is a, a cause of nearly every major chronic disease You're we have. Right. Yeah. right. And so, um, yeah, I mean, just like making sure that you're addressing it on both fronts, I think is, is really helpful in that unique situation. 